वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ प्रीवेजारा प्रीवे कलेक्शन रिव्यू सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू रिव्यू द फोर्थ एंड द लास्ट वन फ्रॉम द कलेक्शन आई वुड लाइक टू रिकमेंड यू दैट बिफोर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड वॉच द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो to have a better understanding about these fragrances and about the whole concept but still if you want to continue from this second video is absolutely fine and i will try to give you some good and valuable information in this video so in this video i'm going to review gray mountain from prive zara prive collection and the uh, uh, fragrance number here is number 3 in the first video i have reviewed uh amber night which was uh fragrance number 2 and bois doré which was fragrance number 4 so i skipped number 3 and there was a reason for it because i love this fragrance so much and i wanted to make a separate video uh, for this and i just want uh, to keep the length of both videos uh, short i don't want them to be very long okay so uh, let's start with the review and for the presentation you can go and watch the first part it's simple presentation nothing fancy here so we will directly start with the fragrance review let me spray it here for you show you the atomizer and let me refresh my my memory okay so such a beautiful scent so before i start my review i would like to share a little story or you can say a little experience behind this fragrance Uh, while i was testing this fragrance in the last 2 weeks uh, i have or i can say we have a routine a daily routine uh, i got some frag head friends in my office there are four of them and these guys are also in love with fragrances and this is our uh, daily routine to bring fragrances and then uh, we uh, and share these fragrances with each, each other sharing means like we test each other's fragrances and we talk about them uh, we talk about the notes quality and you know like uh, like a, a fragrance talk so uh, i took this fragrance to my office last week and as usual all of these my friends uh, we we get together and uh, we were testing different fragrances and then i have sprayed this perfume on one of my friend's jacket and on his shirt and then we had a small discussion about the fragrance and the time was around or between 11:30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, so uh, after like 15 minutes we all went back to our work and then at 8:30 p.m. Uh, that friend of mine he gave me a call and he said Malik please tell me the name of this fragrance and tell me from where I can get this. He went home around like 5:30 because our office timing is from um, 8 to 4 or like 9 to 5. So he said he went home, he uh, took off his jacket and he hanged it in the cabinet and then around 8 o'clock he was going somewhere and he wanted to uh, wear this jacket again. So when he opened the cabinet around 8 o'clock 8 p.m. in the night the whole cabinet was filled with this fragrance. So this was a short story or experience behind this fragrance. and now let's talk about the perfume first of all let me give you the notes breakdown and the note you will get bergamot and grapefruit in the mid you will get rose strawberry jasmine ylang ylang and orange blossom and then in the base you will get patchouli oak moss sandalwood amber cedar wood and white musk a lot of notes and such a beautiful composition this perfume opens with a blast of very beautiful citrusy fruits like bergamot grapefruit and you will get a very beautiful and nice note of strawberry and these fruity notes are very nicely and amazingly balanced with the note of rose and then you will get a very strong oak moss here along with patchouli Patchouli is not in the front in the beginning it's there hiding behind these top notes uh, but you can feel it and this is the opening and uh, after like 20 to 30 minutes uh, you will start getting this beautiful patchouli by the way patchouli here is not smoky not earthy not dusty but it's pure sweet floral kind of patchouli So after like uh, half an hour to one hour, uh, oak moss and 
patchouli will become more prominent with a very beautiful base of sandalwood. In the florals, you will get some hints of jasmine here and there. It's just like uh, jasmine is touching few notes once in a while. So sometimes you can uh, detect it, most of the time you cannot. So uh, jasmine, you can say it's not very prominent. Uh, there are just some hints here and there. And there is ylang ylang, but once again, it's very well mixed or blended. Uh, in a very good way with the other notes that you cannot pick ylang ylang as a separate note uh, but it's there once you know the notes breakdown uh, you can feel it and once you start searching for the note it will be easier for you to pick them up uh, otherwise ylang ylang is not very prominent and then in the total dry down patchouli and oak moss will become more prominent and sandalwood will also become uh, more prominent and you will also start getting some nuances of amber so this was about the fragrance uh, the beauty of this fragrance is that this fragrance got phases and it keeps shifting and you will keep enjoying it in the first phase you will get that juicy beautiful uh, citruses and fruit like strawberry uh, and rose then in the second phase you will start experiencing uh, patchouli and uh, okmos and then in the third phase or i can say in the dry down uh, of course, you will start experiencing amber, uh, more prominent sandalwood, okmos, and uh, patchouli. So this was about the fragrance. Very nice, beautiful. I love, I love it. This is really a gem. I don't know how close is this to the original one, but this perfume by itself is a beauty. So this was about the fragrance and now we will talk about the performance and I'm sure you already got an idea from the story or experience I have shared with you. Uh, performance wise this is very good. You will get a total longevity of 8 plus hours easily. It projects very well for the first one and a half hours and after that it's keep lingering around you it will create a bubble a scent bubble around you and people uh, around you they will keep noticing it and even the siage is good uh, when you will move from here to there you will leave a very uh, nice very light uh, fresh uh, scent trail behind you this is a very juicy bright yet mysterious fragrance at the same time and now let's talk about the gender and this is a purely unisex fragrance ladies or gents anyone can pull it off easily but i can say that here in this case this is little bit more uh, towards the feminine side but believe me guys uh, it can work with anyone very easily we will talk about the age group now and in the age group i can say even for the youngsters this is going to work very well with them especially uh, the teenager girls they are going to love it i think maybe this fragrance is not going to work very well uh, with people of uh, 55 plus years of age uh, this is my opinion because uh, uh, these old age people uh, they must use a little bit more serious kind of fragrances uh, but still fragrances are subjective if you like them you can wear them so this was about the age group and now let's talk about uh, season so this perfume is going to work with you all year around easily uh, the best experience will be in the summers but even in the winter this perfume is going to give you a very nice experience because of oak moss patchouli and sandalwood a very nice fragrance and now let's talk about occasion this is a very versatile fragrance you can wear it let's start from the teenagers you can wear it in the school in the colleges in the sports day in your gym in your office it can be your daily scent uh, it can be used uh, casually it can be used uh, formally and you can use it in your meetings in weddings especially and it's a very uh, romantic kind of scent it can be your date scent you can wear it in your dates easily a very versatile especially for the parties this is going to work very well in the parties and uh, once again in the weddings so this was about the occasion and now let's talk about the price and as i have told you in the video one but if you are not following me uh, from there i'm going to tell you once again you will get this perfume uh, in 80 ml quantity and the price is 55 uae dirhams so this was about gray mountain 
and now I will give you my take on the whole collection. So uh, let's divide uh, my feedback or my take on the whole collection uh, in different categories. So first of all, the quality. Is the quality good here? Yes, it's very good. Of course, you cannot compare it uh, with the originals. Uh, there will be minor differences here and there, but quality is very good. Uh, number two is about the overall experience. Once again, it's good. Number three, is it value for money? Yes, these fragrances are uh, value for money. Absolutely bang for your bucks. And as I have told you, in the first video these are not my purchases but will I ever spend my money on these fragrances so the answer is yes uh, personally I like Grey Mountain uh, more than the other two but this is my personal choice uh, every person they have different choices so you can go and check whichever you like but for me yes I will happily pay 55 dirham for Grey Mountain so overall uh, give them a try please don't blind buy go test them give them a try but from my side you can have a go ahead so this was a review about uh, uh, paris corners Prive zara Prive collection i hope you liked it and until the next video or next review take care and bye